So hi guys, and welcome to the Modification Nation. It's Gabbers, and if you hear a sound, that's my baby. I recorded this video yesterday, uh, two days ago, when I actually got the package in the mail, and I didn't like how it turned out. Someone did ask me to show the tattoo that my ex-fiance did for me, which is on my hip. So, I'm just going to get that out of the way now. I don't show it. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, not many people actually know about it. One of my family does. A lot of my friends just do. Um, but yeah, I recorded this video two days ago when I actually got the package in the mail. Like, I even still have the bubble wrap. And I kept all that, and I didn't like the way that I described everything. It just wasn't very good, and it wasn't very informative. So, let's get started. You get free things with every order from Body Art Forms, and two of them are kind of inevitable. You get a sticker, which you can pick the color, or you can have them pick it, and you get a size chart. Everyone calls it a gauge chart. and Considering there are more than just the state, the sizes, or like gauges of everything, they also give little information about like what things are called and the diameter and everything like that. So I call it a size chart just because that's what it is. It's an informational chart, okay? I used to have one of these and I used to love it all the time. And then the last time I ordered from them, I didn't get one. So I was kind of like, hmm. Because I love using this. I don't remember what I even used it for, but it only goes up to an inch and a half on the little size part here and 20 millimeters on that part. And then on the front, it goes up to a three fourths. Yeah, three fourths. Uh, sometimes if you order over, I want to say $30, you get an extra free item. But the sticker is one of like the ones that you can choose to have. And then they also give you an option of O-rings. So you just get four O-rings. And I get mine in one and I believe it's set three fourths of an inch because in my opinion, they put O-rings on things, which they are like, the O-rings are too big and you lose them and they fall off. So I always use O-rings that are smaller for what I use, or for what I need them, for the size that they are. Just because that's what I've had better experience with. And then I also, because my order was over $50, I got to choose two things. Now first off. I feel like when I was placing my order, I did not read the description correctly. And it said a zero gauge taper. And I was like, oh, cool. But I don't remember it saying acrylic. Which the good thing is, is that it's free. Because on your phone, they don't give you a picture when you choose it. You just kind of scroll through a whole list of items. So, I have a zero gauge acrylic taper. Don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with it. I'm just probably gonna add it to my collection because I'm a jewelry hoarder. And because I'm a jewelry hoarder, I take whatever anybody doesn't use anymore and I just put it in my collection just because I like to. And then I wasn't even thinking. Like, I should have gotten two of these. But these are 14 gauge librette posts, uh, librette retainers. Brett retainers and I don't know what he's focusing but I actually really like this I need to start looking more and looking into getting a whole bunch of retainers mainly just for my piercings on my face because I know if I were to get another job or if I were to get a job somewhere I could always cover my plugs not currently because I shave this off but if I were to like part my hair differently like even just like this, my plugs are pretty covered. So if I were to just part it just a little bit and cover it over, 
you wouldn't be able to see it. You wouldn't be able to see my plug. And, but I have everything on my face. And I really like this. I feel like I need to find smaller little clear O-rings for it though, because these are just crazy loose. So those, that's all the free stuff that I got with the O-ring, the acrylic taper, the retainer, and the sticker. And of course the chart. Their customer service is amazing. They did not have one of the items that I ordered. It was on back order and they had the count off. So they told me like, we don't have this. And they messaged me this on Friday. So they were closed. And by the time I got to message them back. And so Monday morning at like five o'clock in the morning, Arizona time, they messaged me back and they said it was the two gauge tunnel or eyelet and they could give me store credit or a refund but it had to be on PayPal or credit card and because in the US you can order from them with cash you just have to send it in and because I don't have a card I don't have anything like that I send them cash and so I just asked for store credit so it was really cool and I ended up just getting everything else that I ordered. So the, I'm gonna say the thing that I was most excited for at the end. Some of the people on the channel actually know what I got. Like all the members, all the hosts and everything. So my next size with my septum is a four gauge. I'm not excited for that because six gauge hurt. But, and then my next size for my conch is also a 4 gauge, which I actually tried to stretch that yesterday, or the other day when I started recording this video. Fuck no. I did not want to do it. So, I got a 4 gauge single flare eyelet, a 4 gauge taper, and these are all steel. These are all stainless. I believe. I don't know what you call it. And then those are for my septum. I mean, the tunnels for my septum. And then I also, this is the thing I was so excited to see on the website because I never find these. And then I mean, you can't find them in my size ears. So I got this for my coach. It's a double flare steel eyelid. The cool part about it is that it is internally threaded and I wanted one of these for my ear so bad and I'm so excited that I found it the only problem that I have with it is that the little hole is so small like it's probably the same size as this little hole but I don't mind that for the fact that it's internally threaded. And because it's my conch piercing, it needed to be like that. And then, of course, because I did order, but not receive, because it went backward, a uh, two gauge eyelet. I have my two gauge taper. And, oh, a zero gauge single flare steel eyelet. Each of the eyelids were four dollars each. I believe the internally threaded one was like six dollars. And I mean, in my opinion, you're paying for quality from this website. And I normally would go to the shop that I go to to get some of my piercings done to buy the jewelry, because that's where I got the one that's in my septum now. But they're fifteen dollars a piece, and when you're a parent and you're on budget. It's hard to justify spending $15 on a bunch of jewelry, like each piece being that. So I didn't do that. The next one that I was super excited about, which the sad part about it is the wear area is so small and the flares are so small. Like if the flares were bigger and the wear area was the same, I wouldn't have mind. And it's not like such a big deal to me because I know my way around being able to wear them. They're just not going to be like an everyday plug. It made me really sad because 
I mean, granted, yeah, they were only $24, so it was only half my order of these. But these are Blue Line Agate Stone Plugs. I don't know if they really are stone, but I really like them. I like them a lot. And I've never had like an organic pair of stone or like an organic pair of plugs. Like for all I know, these are glass because I don't even know the difference. I've never had a pair of glass plugs either. The most like organic that I've had would be my buffalo horn, which I bought at the I bought at the state fair. So I don't even know if those are really horn. They look like it. They feel like it because they're really light. But I don't know. And they have like an abalone, abalone. I don't know, uh, inlay. Um, I do want to say this here. I did buy all of this with my own money because my boyfriend sold his truck. And so he gave me $200. And I spent 50 of it on the website. 70 of it went to my nipples. And I paid for my sister to get her nose pierced. Which was really exciting because my sister got her nose pierced and it was like her first, like, piercing. So far, this video is really long, and I don't even know if I'm going to add any other pieces. Each individual thing comes in these baggies, and you have to cut the tops off, and if, the cut, if it's cut and the seal is broken, you can no longer return it. <laughs> so every week, I will be picking my topic from the basket. I have things from subdermal implants, to boob jobs, to piercings, uh, to information on my piercings. Just things that I have learned over the years and such. If you want your topic added in here, if you have a specific thing you have in mind, go ahead and comment down below and I will add it to this. And if you want it done that particular next week, then just let me know and I'll get that done like as soon as possible. So. Alright, next week's video will be my opinion on piercing babies and what my plan is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next Friday. Bye guys.